Hello and welcome. My name is Melissa. I'm with the Top Drawer RVA located in Richmond, Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to apply casting resin molds onto a small dresser. Supplies needed for this project, amazing casting resin. You can order this on Amazon. I also use silicone cake molds as well as an iron orchid design mold. Mix your resin according to instructions. After mixed, work quickly so that you can apply all of the resin into the molds before it dries and hardens. When pouring the resin into the molds, make sure not to over pour. The molds actually expand while you pour the resin in. You don't want to have a curved back if you're applying this to a furniture or flat surface product. Keep a small tool handy so that you can make sure that you're getting your resin in all the detailed edges of the mold. After your resin hardens, which in this case, less than 10 minutes, remove each mold from your silicone base. You can now take your flower molds and lay them out on the floor. Design your pattern to make sure that you have equal amounts of flowers for both sides of the dresser. There's a couple ways to apply these to your dresser. You can use E6000 glue, you can use crazy glue or wood glue. Make sure to clean your dresser well with White Lightning by Dixie Belle before you begin. This removes any residue, oils, or fingerprints left on the object. Then take your time to sand down the surface where you're going to apply your molds to give it some tooth to grab onto. After taking the time to lay out your pattern of your roses, you can now apply them onto the sides of your dresser. You have a few minutes while the glue is still wet to move them around and decide where you want to have them adhere. Dixie Belle paint products used for this project, coffee bean, amethyst, fluff, aubergine, and gravel road. Using the darkest color coffee bean, I applied it to where the rosettes were glued on to the dresser. I wanted to make sure that none of the white would be showing when I'm painting over top with my lighter gray. This also enables you to have a nice base for shading. The plan for this round table is an ombre blend. I started with my darkest colors, moving out towards my lightest color fluff. Once the colors have been laid out in the pattern you desire and this has dried, you're going to use your spray bottle to blend them together on your second coats.
After your first coat has fully dried, you're going to use a misting bottle filled with water. You're going to apply your darkest tones in the crevices, working towards the light in the middle. You're going to keep your brush wet, spraying liberally, and blending together. Make sure to keep a separate brush for each color. This way, when one color gets too contaminated and blends into the other, you can use a fresh brush to apply the color. Using a waxing brush, I sealed the entire piece with Dixie Belle's Best Staying Wax and Clear. I like to use Big Mama's Butter by Dixie Belle in order to lubricate all the joints and make sure that the drawers open and close easily. Using Best Dang Wax in black, I use a small brush to apply it to the corners. This way I can get some shading and some darkness to give the product a look of an old age dresser. Using a stencil and my warm gold gilding wax by Dixie Belle, I held the stencil against the dresser drawer front. I then used my gold gilding wax to apply to the front of the dresser. Once this dries and you remove your stencil, you're left with a beautiful shaded gold area. Make sure to hold the stencil still. The stencil did not have a sticky back. You need to make sure to not move it around while you're applying your gold gilding wax. Using a small clean brush, I used the warm gold gilding wax to highlight the edges. I did this on the top of the dresser and around the curved fronts. I hope you've enjoyed this quick and easy paint tutorial on how to apply resin casting roses with Dixie Belle paint products.
If you'd like to try your own Dixie Belle paint brand products, please send me a message or use the link that I've provided for you in the intro below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow me on all social media at the Top Drawer RVA.